and let's check in with sports reporter George Falkowski, who's got all your weekend action, Giants, Eagles, Jets, some surprises, some not. Thank you, Bill. And today, the Giants taking steps to correct the season that co-owner John Mara referred to on Monday as embarrassing. Of course I'm embarrassed. Two and ten, there's no defense uh, for that, particularly when expectations were so high. Head coach Ben McAdoo fired with a record of two and ten, 13 and 15 overall. General manager Jerry Reese fired. He's been the GM since 2007. Two Super Bowls to his credit. He's been an employee of the team since 1994. He's out as well. In the interim, Steve Spagnolo, defensive coordinator, steps up to take over the interim coaching duties. Eli Manning announced as the starter against Dallas on Sunday. So things getting crazier in Giants land, but at least steps finally taken to get the ship righted. As for the Eagles, they get the national spotlight. The late game on Sunday as Carson Wentz takes on the Seahawks in Seattle. 10-3 Seattle in the third. And it looks like Wentz is rumbling in for the tying score, but he's tackled, fumbles through the end zone, touchback. Seattle scores on the next drive. 24-10, the Seattle Seahawks top the Eagles who fall to 10-2. Eagles fans, are they starting to get nervous already? Let's hope not. They've got a really good team. Meanwhile, the Jets did win yesterday. They beat Kansas City in a wild one. They're at 5-7. and seven. Their playoff hopes still alive. I'm George Falkowski for Chasing News. Bill, let's get it back to you.